Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think we had to get him to win today, huh? You know what I mean? So yeah, the Bob Fenimore last week, got the Terry Miller this week. Who knows what we got next week? So y'all watch out. And you lose Dalton Cooper up the second quarter of this game. Did you feel like the offensive line was able to remain together in spite of that? Absolutely. We've had a lot of guys play on the, on the line uh, this year, and I think obviously Dalton's a hell of a player, and to have him go down really sucks for us as a team. Um, but I don't think we blinked at all up front. I didn't feel anything different up front. Um, those guys have played together a lot because they've had to, because of some injuries that we've had to deal with. Um, so Dalton going out, I don't think affected anything. And I think uh, that way we practice with a lot of guys coming, maybe Dalton being out, we, we even practice that way. Um, so then when it does happen in the game, inevitably it might, um, that we're able to roll. Do you feel like uh, Molly pisses off the, the yeah. defense? Yeah, yeah, we talk some smack for sure, definitely. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's, it's a little bit of mind games out there too, um, you know what I mean? So I think, yeah, but Ollie going out there um, definitely, definitely kind of makes those guys mad. But you know what, I think that's what fires him up, right? I think that's what makes him such a great player um, is that he has to, he needs that fuel. So I think he to jumpstart himself, so might as well get somebody else mad so then he can get mad at him. That's the point. When you threw the screen pass there in the fourth quarter, you had defenders mm. in your face, Ollie Gordon had to go up catch the ball with his right hand. I mean, how big of a play was that to kind of get you guys in the end zone? Yeah, I think uh, we kind of stalled out a couple of drives prior, had the ball in great field position. Um, I think it was on the fringe of a field goal, so we really needed something. And I love the play call. It was a great play call by Coach Dunn. Um, I just needed to work, right? It was kind of a, flake, a fake play action and then a screen off of that. Um, and I saw it was there. There was just a guy in the way. Um, and a guy was coming at me, so I just said, you know, I'm going to put some air on it and hope, you know what I mean? And I turned around, and I didn't hear. I just reacted by the, the sound of the crowd. So when I heard the crowd go, I was like, oh, okay, cool. So, but yeah, great catch by him. What is it about your guys' script over the past couple of weeks that gets you in a rhythm early? Yeah, I think just confidence in what we do. Um, I think we, we spend a lot of time on our openers, um, and we kind of know what a team's going to do when they come out. Um, and I think um, knowing what plays are going to be called kind of helps a lot because basically I can kind of go through my mind every different coverage or situation or scenario that we could get to those plays. Um, so we see that and we roll. And I think coming out fast is kind of – Hopefully it can be our MO for the rest of the season, right? I thought we didn't score a touchdown on the opening drive for the first four games, right? Um, and so getting two back-to-back -back these past couple of weeks obviously is a huge testament to get it going. How big was your defense in the second half? Yeah, no, absolutely. I think the, the Oklahoma State football is we take care of the football on offense. Um, we're going to have a really good run game, and then we'll play action and dink and dunk to you all the way down the field. And then what we're going to do is we're going to play really good defense that's going to turn the ball over. Um, we haven't turned the ball over in two games. I mean, we've caused, I mean, I don't even, if you count fourth down stops, like we've had like eight, right? And we're like plus, I'm saying plus seven, plus eight in turnover battle. We're going to win a lot of games doing that. So the more we can take care of the football, there, I mean, I should have thrown a pick today to Kobe Bryant on the on the little rollout in the, in the red zone, but thankfully he didn't have any good hands, so it's fine. But um, being able to take care of the football is going to help us a lot. Did you think that was a free play there? Because they almost had a 12 man on the field. Yeah, it was weird because they like, I, this is a new rule to me. I mean, I, normally when you sub and they sub, then the ref holds it. Right. But I guess if you sub and then they sub and then they sub again, you can snap it. So the ref was out of the way, which normally I, which means I could snap it, but I guess they like double subbed. Um, so I was like, kind of like, do I, he, do I snap? I didn't really kind of know. Um, so, but I didn't think that we had the penalty on that. No. Okay. There were portions of this game that felt like an old school Big 12 game where like, mm -hmm. the last person with the ball is going to win. Mm -hmm. Did it feel like that to you guys? Absolutely. Yeah. I just think uh, being able to lean on our defense to get those turnovers in the second half was huge. Um, but I think it was just kind of hit after hit after hit, and I think whoever's going to end the ball last, um, no doubt. And I think we just kind of trusted ourselves, uh, trusting the game plan, what we had in the fourth quarter, and ended up coming up with a win. As somebody who's had to play in some of those games before, were you comfortable with that? With the pace no, yeah, absolutely, love it. You know, I mean, that's why I play football. That's why you do it. You know what I mean? There's no other way, place in the world I'd rather be than out there, down in the fourth quarter, driving to go win it. You know what I mean? I just got the chill saying that. You know what I mean? So it's just not a lot of people get the opportunity to do that. So the fact that I'm doing it, I'm really grateful. Do, do you remember?